You need to get into the vault. I need to get out. This door isn't intended for easy access, so it'll require joint authorization from both sides to open. I'm on this side and authorized. You're on that side and not authorized. But no worries. I've got a plan. All of the Lost were once members of the vault and should have authorization. You just need to get a hold of a hand and scan it. Easy peasy. That's right. Just a bit of post-mortem amputation and we'll be set. Just scan the hand once you've got it. I'll be on standby. Promise. Time's a ticking. Chop chop! Ooh, ooh. Sorry. <laughs> anyway, I gotta run, but I'll be back. Scan a hand! Bye! lost, I assume. If you are, say so, because that would be a major breakthrough. Ah, good. Well, bit of a downer, actually. Got my hopes up for a second, but I digress. Anyway, I'm Hilda. Hilda Stoltz. Hi. I'm head of the organic sector, which is exactly where I'm about to run off to. But don't worry, my Uncle Hugo is very eager to meet you. Just down the hall. In the Overseer's office, as he is the Overseer. Oh, and I've disabled the two-step lock, so coming and going should be easier now. Anyway, like I said, Uncle Hugo, down the hall. Doodaloo! You reckon that storm's gonna get worse? They're coming. Better come when. My niece told me to expect you. And do not mind my appearance. I can assure you I'm in no harm. Can the same be said of you, though, outsider? Do you intend to harm us? Hmm. Where are my manners? I did not mean to be so standoffish. You are a most welcome guest here. I cannot be too careful. It has been a long time since we've spoken with anyone from the surface. Ah, fascinating. 
Is that the faint clicking of a pip boy I hear? How grand. A colleague from another paradise below the ground. Vault 76, I take it? What a pleasant surprise. Wunderbar. Kismet, even. We are having fun now, aren't we? Listen, my new friend. Regardless of what pretenses my dear niece may have brought you here with, I believe I can repay you for your effort. No catch. Just... opportunity. As you may have ventured to guess on your trip here, our beloved Shenandoah has seen better days. Less stormy days. I'm in the midst of trying to get this under control, but our vault is still in a bit of a state of shock. If you'd be willing to engage in a bit of freelance work, I'm sure I can provide plenty of payment in kind. Fantastic. I'm pleased to hear it. Perhaps I should introduce myself to assuage any hesitation you have. I am Hugo Stolz, overseer of Vault 63, yes, but also a principled man of business from the world of yore. Founder and CEO of Stolz Enterprises, respected member of Vault Tech's board of directors, and overall international man of mystery. Allow me to formally welcome you to Vault 63 as our, let's say, outside consultant. Yes, that'll do perfectly. Oh, please. Hugo is just fine. Now, I'm sure you have many questions. I would expect no less. But I promise your first task will help to answer much. Speak with our chief of security, James T. Oberlin, and fetch me his latest situation report. I'd like to have him vet you a bit before we proceed any further. I'm sure he'd be happy to answer questions for you about our current predicament while you're at it. <laughs> You'll do splendidly, I'm sure. Seeing someone do so much good around here, it's refreshing. Expecting you. James T. Oberlin, Chief of Security, Vault 63. Formerly United States Army. Ordinarily, an outsider would report directly to the security offices. But as you've seen, Mr. Stoltz isn't fond of ordinary. How exactly did you end up on our doorstep, outsider? And you were able to dispose of them. Interesting. Must mean you have some combat training. That could be helpful. Well, considering I'm entirely lacking any sort of credentials or background on you, perhaps you could fill me in on your history. <sighs> At least you're honest. 
Mr. Stoltz buzzed me ahead of your arrival and filled me in on the situation. Sorry for the test, but wanted to see how you'd present yourself. I appreciate you your attempt to take this seriously, but I won't say I don't have my doubts. Let's see how this plays out, though. Here's my status report for Mr. Stoltz. You're dismissed. Unless you have other questions. Fine. It's only fair that you're briefed on our situation. Our facility houses a large-scale weather control device. Some decades ago, an accident rendered it inoperable. However, a recent event has led to its reactivation. With that, we have the storm, along with other unexpected outcomes. One of our top priorities is bringing it back under our control. I'm afraid that's outside your clearance level. Classified. 63's construction had fallen behind due to its lofty and ambitious size. This well, left our population exposed to extreme no levels of radioactive fallout after the bombs fell. Those of us that survived the exposure ended up like this. But working with us so-called ghouls won't be a problem, will it? Understood. Anything else? Our former friends, family, neighbors. An accident some decade back led to their creation. Their condition is irreversible. Beyond that, I'll leave it to Mr. Stoltz's discretion on further details. Just know, they will kill you on sight without mercy. Communication is impossible. Do not hesitate to strike first. Fine. We believe they possess the ability to channel electricity from the storm. You We're still not sure how. Perhaps consider rubber gloves next time you want to shake their hands. Again, the rest is classified. That is correct to a degree. Mr. Stoltz had been afflicted during the same accident that created the Lost. However, he retains his sanity and his ability to communicate. Well, retain sanity is perhaps a bit. Actually, I apologize. This isn't water cooler gossip. I believe I've answered your question. Mr. Stoltz can explain the rest. That's fine. What is it? Good. Mm -hmm. James T. Oberlin, Chief of... Vault 63 has lasted this long. No reason to think it won't keep lasting. You should have arrived a few years back. The old vault sure was something. You know, what if we go back to the surface? Nobody wants to know us because of our... Don't you be starting to change things up around here. We got a system and it works. Ah, it's returned. I've just been thinking on some things. Yes, that. Don't worry about that now. I have a question for you. Tell me, are we our brains? Are you? The person standing in front of me, simply a brain? Or are we more? Consciousness, perception, encoding and the formation of memories to take the observable world and sculpt from it a translation of ourselves, of others. And in the eyes of others, how many versions of us exist? Ah, uh, of course. We've only just met. I apologize. You have the spirit of an old friend about you. I've forgotten there's much new ground to tread between us. I may have failed to mention this before, but I am or was blind. Born that way. After the incident that left me in this state, 
I became able to truly see the world. Well, perhaps it's more accurate to say, I feel the world. Pulses of electricity, waves bending and refracting, gentle hums of life vibrating shapes into being. This world I see, I share it with the lost. I live as they do, yet I remain myself. Perhaps more myself than I was before. But others were lost to it, and to us. Friends, colleagues, loved ones. When they witness this world, they're minded. Well, I suppose I cannot explain what their mind perceives. Just as one could never explain sight to me before. We have been trying to learn why this connection was permanently severed between us. Desperately so. I appreciate your condolences. It has been a very long time since I've spoken to someone who doesn't share this grief with me. All of this is to say we need your help, my friend. There are many problems at our feet, and you are uniquely equipped to help us. Thank you. That truly means the world to me. Let's discuss next steps. There's two sets of investigations I'd have you undertake. Your new friend Oberlin can fill you in on one, and I'd be happy to walk you through the other. Take a moment to relax and process. Speak with either of us when you're ready to hear the details. And once again, I cannot contain my excitement in having you on board. Willkommen im Team, mein Freund. I could use some.